up everybody welcome back it's me nana coming at y'all with another video and between the months of my last pickups video till now i picked up a couple things not too many we have about four or five items so things i've been picking up in this quarantine hopefully y'all enjoy it picked up some real heat today man let's start off with the accessories first item we got picked this up from the thrift actually it's this nice little six panel hat it has this uh design of alaska with a bird and some stars you know i don't really dabble into snapbacks but you know i've been trying to get into it and i had to go get a whole haircut because before when i wore that hat it definitely looked like i was wearing a helmet but it's a nice hat it has like this cream brim rim brim i don't even know what it's called the bill the bill Nice cream bill. I want to say it's like a neon green for the stitching on for the birds in Alaska and the stars and stuff. Cream uh, strap back. Has a nice fit. I've been wearing it a lot right now just because it's so hot. And honestly, it makes me hotter, but it keeps the sun from my eyes. So it's like a, I got to pick my evil with it. It's still a nice hat. I think it's definitely a cool pickup. It's nice to just throw on with the fit. Now, next up, this is a shout out to my girl. You know, she got me a nice little bracelet i think this is marcelo berlon shout out to essence because they're definitely having a big sale i'm not sure if it's still going on but i think it's like up to 70 percent off definitely check them out it's some great things on there but i definitely broke my last the necklace or not a necklace but bracelet so i decided to get another one this one is actually pretty sick it has a little cross these nice cuban link chains fits really very nice on the uh, on the wrist but the kill is i don't know if it's just me but bracelets are actually very hard to put, to put on and off like very, it's a lot more difficult by itself. Definitely it helps if you have another. Now let's get into the clothing. For tops. <laughs> Bruh, this is actually a brand I've been trying to get into recently. I've been peeping their stuff, but I was it was never at a price point where I could actually buy it because you know I'm not rich or nothing. So Shout out to Essence again for this one because I definitely copped it off their sale and it's this Reese Cooper How, uh, things from the collection called How A Letter Travels. I forgot what the exact name of it is, but y'all see it has this nice little print. I think it's like a nice orange on the RCI trading code with the bird. It says, all communication in connection with the directory should be addressed to the editor at the office. 332 is like an address right there. But basically, yeah, it's like a, like a postal type of messaging company kind of play on, you feel me? It's a nice vintage faded yellow. Looks very sick on body, like the top isn't too cropped. It is slightly cropped, but it fits me very well. I like where it stops like right at the waist. Has a very sick fit. I love the color. It's not that bright, bright yellow. It's kind of like a dull down yellow, like it's been aged and I love it. I think it's called the Aged Crew Neck or something like that. If I can't find it out, if I don't know the name, I'll just put it on the screen or something. It's actually very chill and it's a nice Reese Cooper piece. I honestly want to get more into the brand because while I was looking like they actually have a lot of stuff on there I'm very interested in. So don't be surprised if you see some more pops in the future. Now on to pants. Recently, man, I've been really trying to find like perfect pants to wear. I've been trying to get more of my shit tailored just so it fits me well, but man, oh man, shout out to Essence once again, man. I got these polo, I believe they're called Bedford trousers, and these are actually the most perfect fitting black trousers I've ever had. Like, wow. Like this, this is definitely the thing that's gonna get me into trousers. It has a nice straight fit. I love the way it falls on my sneakers, even my Doc Martens, like these low tops I got. Man, they're just a very sick pair, and it's, because it's black, you kind of wear them every day, like, I don't know, it's a very sick fit. Very, very sick pair of pants, too. Steel black, can wear them every day, you never get tired of them. It's not too skinny, but it's not too baggy either. That perfect middle ground. And then, honestly, I probably will definitely, if I can, get more of these style trousers, maybe in a different color. But yeah, that's it for those. And the next pair of pants, these Levi's 501s vintage, of course. Now, usually I do wear like a lot of Levi's 501s, but this color, it's a lot darker than what I'm used to. I, mean, I usually wear like the very light stonewash ones, but these ones are very dark color and I released the hem on it. I initially got it tailored from a friend, but then I realized 
eh, it doesn't sit on top of the pants the way I want them to. Like it just, it was just missing that one little inch of it. Like I probably asked them to do it a little bit too low. So I undid the hem, had a little raw hem now. And, and the way it sits on, especially the Doc Martin, the low tops, it's beautiful, man. Like it's a nice straight fit, nice straight slim, very nice color. I feel like if I keep washing it and stuff like that, it'll put more fade, so maybe it'll turn into light wash eventually. But it's still tight. It has these nice details on the pockets too. A little bit distressing. I added my own little kind of belt keychain loop thing. But yeah, these are actually a very beautiful pair of pants. Uh, another every day or two. Like these are something simple, something plain, not much going on with it. Like I definitely would wear these every day, and I definitely definitely do wear it every day if you really know me but last but not least and I definitely didn't bring it last but not least these Doc Martens man I really wish I knew the fucking the, the model of this shoe I like when I bought it on grilled I definitely the guy told me like he didn't even know the model himself he didn't even have a box it was just a shoe and they were like dead stock and if you look at this shoe now all the creasing and dirt on it you definitely knew no, I've been wearing this shoe a lot. Like these are like easily my everyday shoes. I never realized how much I liked like some type of, what are these like Oxford type shoes, derby shoes, derby. Yeah, that featured them in my like one of my uh, styling videos, but I love the sole on them. They had these nice little silver detailings on the buckles, not the buckles, but like the lace loops and stuff like that. Overall, it's a pretty sick shoe. Nice and chunky too, so I can wear bigger pants with them. I don't have to wear some skinny, but I feel like skinny jeans would definitely look good with these still. Wish I brought them back home, but sadly they're still at school. Either way, fire, fire, fire for the summer. I'm definitely gonna put like a thousand miles on this, but if this was a car, it'd probably have like 42,000 miles. No cap, all guaranteed. But yeah, that's it for the video, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at nana.ndt. And I'll see y'all next time. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you. I'm gonna get a better intro, outro because my shit kinda sucks.